Who are we all excited today, huh? Retirees. Oh. So let's give, you help, let's give yourselves a hand this evening. Okay. Good evening and welcome to the recognition dinner for the retiree class of 2015-2016. I have the honor and pleasure of being the first this evening to thank each of you for your service and dedication to Newport News Public Schools. You, repre you represent what is great about our school district, our dedicated employees family. Over the years, you have made considerable contributions to education here in Newport News. You have shared your talents with our students in the community as teachers, librarians, custodians, cafeteria staff, supervisors, bus drivers, teacher assistants, bus assistants, administrators, plant service staff, social workers, counselors, secretaries, nurses, and clerks. As we begin this celebration tonight, I would like to share a few thoughts with you. Retirement is just the beginning of a very special time in your life. It is achievement of one goal and the opportunity to set new ones. There is no limit to the challenge it can offer, the satisfaction it can bring, or the world of accomplishment it can hold. As you begin your new phase of your life, may you find joy in remembering the past accomplishments and happiness in pursuing new hopes and dreams. On behalf of the school board, students, parents, and the citizens of Newport News, thank you for your devoted service and congratulations on your retirement. Our school superintendent, Dr. Kilgore, will bring greetings and introduce special guests that are joining us this evening. Well, thank you, Mr. Hunter. It is a really big night for us in Newport News to celebrate the work that you've done and the expertise that you have brought to this school division. We're very good because of this room, and, and I really appreciate the work that you've done. Um, tonight, it, for me, is kind of bittersweet. Everybody I asked in the line, I said, are you excited? Everybody was excited. Only one person had mixed feelings. And, but I have mixed feelings, so just to, I'm very sad to see you go. I'm very excited about your new beginning. Um, as I was thinking about talking with you all tonight, I Googled, which is a new way of doing research, um, I Googled um, retirement, and I found two interesting points of view about retirement. One said, you are never too old to set a goal or have a dream. The other said, I don't want to, I don't have to, you can't make me, I'm retired. <laughs> so somewhere in between those two points of view are your new pathway. And where you'll be, I don't know, but that's something I think to think about, and I wish you well whichever pathway you take. Before you make all those decisions, though, we want to take a moment tonight to recognize what you've done <clears throat> for our school division, the fact that you chose to be in education as your career, and you've dedicated so many years of your life to this work. Tonight in this room, we have 1,500 years of service represented. Now that's a lot. <laughs> so I want to thank you too on behalf of all of our young people for making sure that they arrived at school safely, that they were well fed, that our finances were managed, that they were safe and secure in a clean learning environment, and that most of all they were smarter and prepared for their next challenges when they left Newport News Public Schools. So I thank you for your commitment, for your service, and for your loyalty to our young people, our families, and to this community. This, at this time, there are a lot of folks here that want to congratulate you also, so I'd like to introduce um, the people that have come to share this evening with you. Um, from our school board, you met Mr. Hunter, our vice chair, Gary Hunter. Also, uh, school board member Douglas Brown. School board member Teddy Hicks, who's also retiring tonight. 
and school board member Shelley Simons. And from Congressman Scott's office, we have Michelle Dale representing the congressman. So thank you all for being here and thank most of all to the audience for your service and to your families for letting that your, your family member be a part of our community as well as your family. Um, at this time, I'm gonna ask Kathy Alexander, our executive director of Child Nutrition Services to come forward and she's gonna provide our invocation. Enjoy your dinner and have fun tonight. Good evening. I am so honored to join you tonight to honor and celebrate the dedicated service that each of you get, has given to Newport News Public Schools. Congratulations to each of you on your retirement. Please join me in the invocation. Lord, bless our honorees this evening as we thank them for their dedicated service to our school division. May their contributions to our students continue to be felt by many for years to come. Bless the new path they take. Bless their future endeavors with success. May their new direction bring them great pleasure and deep satisfaction. Bless their bodies with health and their souls with joy. Lord, bless the food in this gathering to recognize and honor our retiring colleagues. May we all be strengthened and uplifted in your honor. Amen. Amen. At this time, I'd like to give a round of applause to the Minchville High Chamber Orchestra under the direction of Anna Moyer. Also joining us this evening is Delegate Monty Mason. And school board member Carlton Ashby. Thank you. I am Nina Farish, Employee Relations Supervisor of Human Resources, and I'm standing in for Frank Labreck. It is an honor to join you this evening as we recognize your dedicated service to public education. We are here to recognize each of you for your dedicated service to Newport News Public Schools. Tonight, each of you will be presented with a special plaque. The plaque reads, Upon your retirement, Newport News Public Schools presents this certificate and wishes to express its sincere thanks and gratitude for your years of dedicated service. Your wisdom and commitment to excellence have inspired all of us and will be remembered for many years to come. We wish you good health, happiness, and continued success in your retirement. To the retiree class of 2015-2016, we salute each of you for your contributions to our school district. Our students and our school division have benefited from your dedicated and loyal service. At this time, I invite the school board members and special guests to join Dr. Kilgore, forming a receiving line to recognize and thank you for your years of service. Honorees, as we announce your name, please come forward. I ask that you begin your trip down the receiving line to my right and your left, ending with Dr. Kilgore. Friends and family members, you are free to take pictures when your um, family member is called up. Tonight, as we acknowledge each honoree, I will share either a personal message from the retiree or special comments from their supervisor. It is with great pleasure I present this year's retirees. Our first honoree is Ann Abdullah. <laughs> Ms. Abdullah is retiring as a teacher at Lee Hall Elementary with 21 years of service. Ms. Abdullah's administrator shared, Ms. Abdullah has worked tirelessly to help students become better readers and stronger mathematicians. She is patient, kind, and always willing to work with groups of kids that need extra help. 
She truly models professionalism and being a lifelong learner. She has been willing to learn more content, skills, and strategies in order to support students. She will be missed, Ms. Abdullah. Sandra M. Alston. Ms. Alston is retiring as a technology coach at Carver Elementary with 33 years of service. Ms. Alston's administrator shared, Ms. Alston is a knowledgeable and supportive ITC. She answers questions and requests with sensitivity and expertise. Ms. Alston makes sure we are at the forefront of technology and STEM instruction. Thank you for everything you have done for the students and staff at Carver Elementary. Ms. Alston. Valeda K. Benton. Okay. Ms. Benton is retiring as a teacher at Achievable Dream Middle and High with 32 years of service. Ms. Benton's administrator shared. Ms. Benton has dedicated 32 years to NNPS with 14 of those years with Achievable Dream Middle High. She has been one of the most committed and loyal members of the Achievable Dream team. As a teacher, Coach Benton has high expectations and is always prepared. She is a role model for teachers and students. Coach Benton never hesitates to devote the needed time to both student and staff activities even sacrificing her personal time to prepare and participate. The Leda Benton will truly be missed by Achievable Dream Middle High Team. Miss Benton. <laughs> Charlyn Bunk. <laughs> Miss Bunk is retiring as a guidance counselor at Minchville High School with 30 years of service. Ms. Bunk's administrator shared, Ms. Bunk is the embodiment of a faculty member. She truly bleeds purple and gold. Having counseled young monarchs for nearly 27 years, around Minchville, we joke that Ms. Bunk, who has occupied the same office for the entire career, still has records of each student she counseled. Even without those records, she can remember every student with whom she has worked and is always able to recall a story or detail about many of those thousands of students. Ms. Bunks will long be remembered at Minchville as a true professional school counselor who worked to build lasting relationships with all of her students. She will be greatly missed, Ms. Bunk. Gardner Boyd Sr. Gardner Boyd? Okay. Mr. Boyd is retiring as a bus assistant with transportation with 19 years of service. Mr. Boyd's administrator shared, Mr. Boyd has had a long and distinguished career with Newport News Transportation. He began his career as a bus driver and has been a key player through many changes in transportation. After years as a driver, he transitioned to working as a bus assistant. Mr. Boyd has worked with numerous bus drivers and assistants, as well as thousands of students throughout his career. His expertise and dedication are truly appreciated. Mr. Boyd. <laughs> Catherine Ann Brumfield. Ms. Brumfield is retiring as an instructional assistant at Gatewood Peep with 16 years and six months of service. Ms. Brumfield's administrator shared, Ms. Brumfield came to Gatewood Peep from Denby Early following stints at Kiln Creek and Richneck as a teacher assistant. She has been a ball of fire at Gatewood Peep. She sees things that need to be done and takes the initiative to follow it through. Her positive attitude and energy will be greatly missed. Ms. Brumfield. <laughs> Maria K. Bryant. Ms. Ms. Bryant is retiring as a child nutrition employee at Denby High with 25 years of service. Ms. Bryant's administrator shared, Ms. Bryant served Denby with distinction ensuring that our students received meals they need to support learning. She is a meticulous worker, was always on time, and did her job with great pride, 
We are thankful that she was able to work with us and we will all miss her, Ms. Bryant. <laughs> Catherine Bergwin. Catherine Bergwin. Ms. Bergwin is retiring as a teacher at Watkins Early Childhood Center with 33 years and seven months of service. Ms. Bergwin's administrator shared, Ms. Bergwin is always looking for ways to improve her craft. She believes in doing what is best for her students and is willing to try new methods to help them be successful. Ms. Bergwin. <laughs> Vicki Bird. Ms. Bird retired as a cook baker with Child Nutrition Services at Jenkins Elementary with 21 years and nine months of service. Ms. Bird's administrator shared, Ms. Bird established and maintained a very good rapport with her coworkers and with me. She loved her job and she showed it with dedication and hard work. She's a great baker and she performed her duties with a spirit of excellence. She will be remembered for her great tasting rolls she baked. It was a pleasure to work with Vicki Bird, Ms. Bird. Michelle Cannon. Ms. Cannon is retiring as a student support assistant at Heritage High School with 16 years and five months of service. Ms. Cannon's administrator shared, Michelle Cannon is truly a diamond. She is a team player. Whenever there is an opportunity to help and lend a hand, she is there. When students needed extra practice or remediation, we could count on Mrs. Cameron to work with an individual or small group. She was always there. Ms. Cam Cannon will be missed, not only as a member of the Heritage family, but as an essential member of the math department. Her personality, smile, and dedication will truly be missed, Ms. Cannon. A. Vanessa Claggan. Ms. Claggan is retiring as a teacher at Minchville High with 33 years and eight months of service. Ms. Claggan's administrator shared, Ms. Claggan is a strong advocate for her students and they love her because they know she cares for each of them. She prepares her students for their future and believes that each child deserves the very best from her so that they can have every opportunity for success. Ms. Claggan always has engaging lessons which challenge her students, but she is always there to help as she prepares them for life's many adventures. Ms. Claggan has been a terrific Minchville monarch and a great member of the special education department. The entire school will miss her wonderful sense of humor and generous spirit. Ms. Claggan. <laughs> Pamela Cox. Ms. Cox is retiring as a custodian at Achievable Dream Middle and High with 28 years and nine months of service. Ms. Cox administrator shared, Ms. Cox has worked for over 25 years with NNPS and five of those years have been at Achievable Dream Middle High. Ms. Cox was very knowledgeable about her custodial duties and she always had a positive attitude. She cared about the students and worked well with her coworkers. The Achievable Dream family will miss her, Ms. Cox. June Dameron. Ms. Dameron is retiring as a cook baker with Child Nutrition Services at Detro Elementary with 18 years and nine months of service. Ms. Dameron's administrator shared, Ms. June, as the students refer to her, has been a du at Detro for 18 years. The students love her and she made it a point to know all of them by name, all 300 plus. We want to thank you for your service at Detro, your friendship and kindness. Thank you for your great years of dedication to our students. Ms. Dameron. <laughs> Rebecca Deloach. Reba, I'm sorry, excuse me, Reba Deloach. Ms. Deloach is retiring as a bus assistant with transportation with 11 years and one month of service. Ms. Deloach's administrator shared, Ms. Deloach is an awesome assistant. She is a very patient woman and has a special ear for listening to students and helping them work through their daily issues. Ms. Deloach is always willing to give great solid advice to anyone that asks for it. You will constantly find her engaging people to do the right thing. 
Ms. Deloach. <laughs> Bernita Dodson. Ms. Dodson is retiring as a custodian at Crittenton Middle School with 10 years and nine months of service. Ms. Dodson's administrator shared, Ms. Dodson greets every student, staff, and parent with a smile. She has been an essential member of our custodial team and her hard work was recognized as our school won Cleanest Middle School Award thanks to her commitment. She is the ultimate professional and gives extra effort to everything that she does, Ms. Dodson. <laughs> Gloria Figueroa. Ms. Figueroa is a child nutrition employee at Denby Early Childhood Center with 15 years of service. Ms. Figueroa ad administrator shared, Ms. Figueroa has been a loyal, dedicated worker who has gained friendships with coworkers and staff. She displayed a strong personal commitment to successfully completing all her tasks and supporting our students. We wish her all the best with retirement and hope future events enrich her journey. Ms. Figueroa. <laughs> Alice B. Fletcher. Ms. Fletcher is retiring as an instructional assistant at Kiln Creek Elementary with 19 years of service. Ms. Fletcher's administrator shared, she exudes goodness. She has spent countless hours providing academic support as well as social and emotional support to our students. Ms. Fletcher's love for the students and desire to see them succeed is evident in the hard work she puts into her small group activities. She inspires students, encourages them to grow both academically and professionally. Alice is a kind, dependable, sharp-dressed lady who will greatly be missed by students at Kiln Creek, Ms. Fletcher. Edith Grant. Ms. Grant is retiring as a bus assistant with transportation with 11 years and six months of service. Ms. Grant's administrator shared, day in and day out, Ms. Grant has been instrumental in supporting students and assisting them with their safe ride for students to go to and from school. Ms. Grant's professional attitude, dependability, and alertness enabled her to connect with thousands of students over her career. She has remarked that she truly enjoyed her job and working with her driver, Carolyn, with whom she has served her entire career. Ms. Grant. Mildred Gervick. Ms. Gervick is retiring as a school nurse at Watkins Early Childhood Center with 14 years of service. Ms. Gervick's administrator shared, Millie Gervick is a caring, nurturing school nurse. She makes students, parents, and staff feel relaxed, safe, and well cared for. She remains calm even in our busy clinic in emergencies and always finds time to learn, listen to everyone's concerns. Ms. Gervick. <laughs> Laverne Ham. Mr. Ham is retiring as a bus driver with transportation with 12 years and three months of service. Mr. Ham's administrator shared, Mr. Ham is a team player who embraces change and has an unwavering commitment to exceed customer expectations. We regularly receive praise from customers commenting Mr. Ham's outstanding level of service, professionalism, and follow through. He puts the needs of his students and organization above his own. Mr. Ham is very much loved by his students and all of transportation. Mr. Ham. <laughs> Gary Harris. Mr. Harris is retiring as a school security officer at Heritage High School with 15 years of service. Mr. Harris's administrator shared, it has been indeed an honor and privilege to work with Mr. Harris for the past five years in the security department. He is an exceptional officer who has always strived for excellence. Mr. Harris has been a positive role model for the students and adults. Our students enjoyed Mr. Harris's presence He's noted for exhibiting a calm demeanor, even in the toughest situations. We will miss the daily inventory at the end of school to ensure that his rucksack is full. Most importantly, we will miss your patience and kind spirit. 
Mr. Harris. Sina Hoffler. Ms. Hoffler is retiring as a, at a, as a nurse at Heritage High School with 15 years of service. Ms. Hoffler's administrator shared, in a school every day is different and challenging and Ms. Hoffler handled every emergency quickly and efficiently. She always had helpful health and nutritional advice for staff members and was caring when she treated students and staff in the clinic. We will de definitely miss our beginning of the year song and we'll never forget, if it is wet and not yours, don't touch it. <laughs> Ms. Hoffler. <laughs> Cynthia Hollis. Ms. Hollis is retiring as a cook baker for child nutrition services at Jenkins Elementary with 30 years of service. Ms. Hollis administrator shared, Ms. Hollis is a caring and kind person and always strives to prepare the best meals possible. She says when she retires, she will continue to be more active in her community. So don't expect to find her just sitting around the house all day. She is looking forward to joining her local community center, staying busy by helping people, spending time with her family and traveling. Ms. Hollis. Erlene Hunt. Ms. Hunt is a child nutrition employee at Denby High with 21 years and nine months of service. Ms. Hunt's administrator shared, she is kind and a kind and understanding person. Her devotion is evident to the students and the teachers that come through her line. Ms. Hunt works to ensure that all students eat well. The students really like her, some even call her mom, Ms. Hunt. Thomas Jacob. Mr. Jacob is retiring as a teacher at Woodside High School with 35 years of service. <laughs> Mr. Jacob's administrator shared, although Mr. Jacob's official title is teacher, he has been much more than that for the students of Newport News for the past 35 years. He has helped prepare children from each corner of Newport News to become productive citizens parents, and workers. Coach Jacobs' long reach has made Newport News a better place for all to live. Mr. Jacob. <laughs> Josie Jarman. Ms. Jarman is retiring as a teacher at Heritage High School with 27 years and two months of service. Ms. Jarman's administrator shared, Ms. Jarman loves each and every person she meets, but loves her students the most. She worked tirelessly to ensure IEPs were completed, checked students' grades, and often had to be asked to leave the building so we could lock up for the night. <laughs> this is a testament to her spirit of sacrifice to ensure all of her students had what they needed to be successful in their next phase of life. Ms. Jarman. <laughs> Ronald Jarman. Mr. Jarman is retiring as a school security officer at Huntington with 39 years and six months of service. <laughs> Mr. Jarman's administrator shared, for years I would talk to Mr. Jarman about joining the security department because I could see the passion he had with working with students. He would simply say, one day. Mr. Jarman has a calm demeanor that does not get rattled easily. His work ethic and professionalism have been impeccable. It has been an honor and privilege working with Mr. Jarman. Thank you for your service and enjoy your retirement. Mr. Jarman. <laughs> Myrna Johnson. Ms. Johnson is retiring as a teacher at Gildersleeve Middle School with 20 years of service. Ms. Johnson's administrator shared Ms. Johnson was so much more than a teacher. She was a nurturer and mentor to her students. Her wit and sense of humor made the students look forward to entering her class. She will be missed, but she has left a great legacy. Ms. Johnson. <laughs> Helen Johnson Anderson. 
Ms. Johnson Anderson is retiring as a teacher at Washington Middle School with 27 years of service. Ms. Johnson Anderson's administrator shared, our physical education teacher is instrumental in the workings of our school. She takes care of our, of our social committee and generally is such a happy person that you cannot help but to be in, good, in a good mood around her. Students are always excited to go to her class, not only because of the interesting activities she plans and the structures she supplies. I'm sure she will begin to spending, spend time with her grandchildren and enjoying tennis. Ms. Johnson Anderson. <laughs> Jacqueline Jurgens. Ms. Jurgens is retiring as an instructional assistant at Lee Hall Early Childhood Center with eight years and nine months of service. Ms. Jurgens' administrator shared, everyone loves Ms. Jurgens. Her bubbly, get things done attitude is respected by students, teachers, and parents. She is always willing to give a helping hand to support and encourage our students. Ms. Jurgens. <laughs> Nancy Camborian. Ms. Camborian is a teacher at Epps Elementary with 13 years of service. Ms. Camborian's administrator shared, thank you for your dedication to our students and their success. It is now time for a brand new stage in your life, a chance for you to do all the things you have put off because you did not have the time. Dream big and enjoy your future, Ms. Cambodian. <laughs> Janet Kennedy. Ms. Kennedy is retiring as a physical education teacher at Sedgeville Elementary with 19 years of service. Ms. Kennedy's administrator shared, Ms. Kennedy is very supportive of the health and well-being of our students and staff. Through the years, she has worked tirelessly to ensure that our students are physically active. This year, she also worked to provide filtered water and water bottles for our staff. We appreciate her energy, Ms. Kennedy. Mary A. Kennedy. Ms. Kennedy is retiring as a lead teacher at Washington Middle School with 30 years and eight months of service. Ms. Kennedy's administrator shared, Ms. Kennedy is relentless in trying to find new ways to excite her students about social studies. Students describe her as someone who really cares because she takes the time to explain things and is always leading creative projects to help us learn. The staff will miss her humor and her cooking ability. Ms. Kennedy is my go-to person for guidance and to get things done in the building. I am sure you will find her on a beach somewhere, Ms. Kennedy. <laughs> Bonita Kimbrew. Ms. Kimbrew is retiring as a social worker at Newsom Park with 30 years and one month of service. Ms. Kimbrew's administrator shared, Ms. Kimbrew has committed over 30 years of service to our school division in the capacity of social, school social worker. Although Ms. Kimbrew provides service to students throughout the division, she truly is a Newsom Park navigator. She has worked diligently with all members of the team. Her ability to advocate for students, staff, and parents is notable. She is a facilitator, listener, encourager, and supporter. In addition to the administrative team, teachers, students, and parents alike, speaks volumes to her level of professionalism. Ms. Kimbrew is truly missed, Ms. Kimbrew. <laughs> Reva Mubine. Ms. Mubine is retiring as a child, nu child nutrition employee at Kiln Creek Elementary with 15 years and two months of service. Ms. Mubine's administrator shared Ms. Mubine takes pride in serving the children of NNPS. She has served the high school students and leaves us by serving the little ones at Kiln Creek. Keep on smiling, Ms. Mubine. <laughs> Kathleen McAvoy. Ms. McAvoy is retiring as an instructional coach at Booker T. Washington, Crittenton, and Gildersleeve Middle School with 10 years of service. Ms. McAvoy's administrator shared, Ms. McAvoy has been a treasured member of the secondary English team for the past 10 years. She brings a wealth of expertise to the division as a school principal, curriculum developer, published author, 
and literacy coach. Ms. M Ms. Mc McAvoy will be missed, Ms. McAvoy. <laughs> June McClelland. Ms. McClelland is retiring as a school nurse at Gatewood Peep with 23 years of service. Ms. McClelland's administrator shared, I have had the honor of working with June at Gatewood Peep for 11 of the 23 years. June was honored as a 21 to Watch recipient for her dedication and service to students, health, and well-being. Ms. McClelland is an excellent professional who will be greatly missed, Ms. McClelland. <laughs> Geraldine McCowan. Ms. McCowan is retiring as a cook baker with Child Nutrition Services at Newsom Park with 18 years of service. Ms. McCowan's administrator shared, Ms. McCowan and I have worked together at Newsom Park School for the last five years. Ms. McCowan is a dedicated employee. She has been a great asset to the students we serve at the park and will be truly missed by the staff. Ms. McCowan. <laughs> Deborah McQuillan. Ms. McQuillan is retiring as a media specialist at Hydenwood Elementary with 23 years and 10 months of service. Ms. McQuillan's administrator shared, Ms. McQuillan has worked amongst books from the lowest levels to the highest levels while spending time with adult learning, four-year-olds, middle school, and elementary school. She encouraged a love of reading and shared her knowledge of many authors and genres to her, to her students. Now she will be able to travel to all the places the books tell us about and see the wonders firsthand. Ms. McQuillan. <laughs> Carlethea McSwain. Ms. McSwain is retiring as a teacher at Palmer Elementary with 17 years of service. Ms. McSwain's administrator shared, over the years, Ms. McSwain worked hard to build positive relationships with children. She was viewed as the expert at Palmer for working with all children. She never met a child that she couldn't help have a successful year. The students and staff at Palmer truly miss seeing her come to school every day with that big smile on her face and a cap on her head. Ms. McSwain. <laughs> Leslie Miller. Ms. Miller is retiring as a school psychologist at Dozier with 19 years and six months of service. Ms. Miller's administrator shared, Ms. Miller is a wonderful person to have worked with over the years. She has been a great resource for many students, staff members, and parents. Ms. Miller truly cares about what she does. Throughout the years, she has made sure that her students' needs are being met and addressed. She has been an asset to our building and a pleasure to work with. She will be missed, Ms. Miller. <laughs> Catherine Monahan. Ms. Monahan is retiring as an instructional assistant at Epps Elementary with 16 years of service. Ms. Monahan's administrator shared, Ms. Monahan worked to support instruction and advance student learning throughout her tenure. It is time for you to look forward to all the things you are yet to enjoy. Dream big and enjoy your future, Ms. Monahan. <laughs> Regina Morris. Ms. Morris is retiring as a teacher at Washington Middle School with 31 years and nine months of service. Ms. Morris administrator shared, Ms. Morris is a very structured teacher with a heart of gold. She is a compassionate educator who generally stays until 7 p.m. every night. She is a true professional that will be missed by her students and the staff. Ms. Morris makes Booker T. Washington a fun place to learn and work. Ms. Morris. <laughs> Stephen Murray. Mr. Mor Mr. Murray is retiring as a media specialist at Magruder Discovery STEM Academy with 30 years of service. Mr. Murray's administrator shared, Mr. Murray is committed and dedicated. During his tenure, he has served six years as an eighth grade math teacher at Gildersleeve Middle School, five years as an Algebra I Geometry and Gold Coach at Heritage High, and 15 years as the Discovery STEM Academy Librarian. He has served as the PTA President, Vice President, and is their own personal Santa each year. 
He has been a positive influence in the lives of the students on every level, Mr. Murray. Lita Oberhofer. Ms. Oberhofer is retiring as a teacher at Lee Hall Early Childhood Center with 30 years of service. Ms. Oberhofer's administrator shared, Ms. Oberhofer is respected by all of her colleagues. She is intelligent, creative, and efficient. Her years of dedicated service are filled with wisdom. She will be missed by students as well as teachers who often went to her for advice. Ms. Oberhofer. Karen Pangeson. Ms. Pangeson is retiring as a teacher at Lee Hall Early Childhood Center with 14 years and four months of service. Ms. Pangeson's administrator shared, Ms. Pangeson came prepared to work with her students every day. She is committed to teaching and learning and igniting a lifelong passion for education in her students. She loves collaborating with others to support our students. Ms. Pangeson. <laughs> Alvin Parker. Mr. Parker is retiring as lead custodian at Woodside High with 20 years and seven months of service. Mr. Parker's administrator shared, Mr. Parker has worked tirelessly to ensure his schools were ready to serve children every day. His attention to detail, ability to lead a team, and work ethic were evident every day. Because of his efforts, our schools support and encourage students' learning. Everyone will miss his great sense of humor, Mr. Parker. <laughs> Shirlene Pastor. Ms. Pastor is retiring as a teacher at Gatewood Peep with 30 years of service. Ms. Pastor's administrator shared, Ms. Pastor has been a Peep teacher for more than 30 years. Pam spent many years as an integral member of the Peep assessment team, serving as the educational diagnostician. Her creativity in the classroom led to activities resulting in monumental student progress. Ms. Pastor in initiated the PEEP student program that became a Gatewood PEEP tradition and parent favorite, affectionately known as the PEEP Show. Ms. Pastor. <laughs> Thelma Louise Person. Ms. Person is retiring as the secretary at Aviation Academy with 15 years and two months of service. Ms. Pass, Ms. Person's administrator shared, Ms. Person is self-directed and can always be counted on. She is very dependable and she specializes in tedious tasks that few can accomplish. I could always count on Ms. Person to go above and beyond to support the daily operations of our school. Ms. Person. <laughs> Anne Lynn Pierce. Ms. Ms. Pierce is retiring as a teacher at Heritage High School with 42 years of service. <laughs> Ms. Pierce administrator shared one of the original canes or OCs as they are affectionately referred to by our loving staff. Ms. Pierce is one of the few staff members remaining that began teaching at Heritage when the school opened in 1996. Her high expectations for students and staff, willingness to have the tough conversations to move students forward, and ability, ability to have an entire class of high school students hang on every word of her stories will be greatly missed. Ms. Pierce. Ann C. Robinson. Ms. Robinson is retiring as a guidance counselor at Carver Elementary with 33 years and 10 months of service. Ms. Robinson's administrator shared, Ms. Robinson is a dedicated professional school counselor who contributes to every aspect of our school community. She empowers students to hone their leadership skills while she serves as a leader in our school. She is committed to advancing students to prepare them for success. We will miss you, Ms. Robinson. <laughs> Gloria Simpson. 
Ms. Simpson is retiring as a master driver with transportation with 15 years and eight months of service. Ms. Simpson's administrator shared, Ms. Simpson became a master driver in May of 2014 after years of dedicated service to our students. She is a thoughtful, caring person who thinks of others before herself. She loves her students and her students love her. Ms. Simpson met her future husband at the Newsom Park bus lot and they recently tied the knot to begin the rest of their youthful life together. Enjoy your retirement, Ms. Simpson. Rodney A. Simpson. Mr. Simpson is retiring as a bus driver with transportation with eight years and seven months of service. <laughs> Mr. Simpson's administrator shared, Mr. Simpson is a quiet and dedicated hard worker. He is respected by his peers and loved by his students. Mr. Simpson is a dedicated husband, father, and grandfather, so he knows how to connect to the students. He is known as being humorous, kind-hearted, hardworking, and he is more than willing to help any driver when needed. Mr. Simpson is truly one of a kind, Mr. Simpson. Roy Thomas. Mr. Thomas is retiring as a bus assistant with transportation with seven years and seven months of service. Mr. Thomas's administrator shared, Mr. Thomas, known as Mr. Roy, is a dedicated, devoted worker that loves children and his coworkers. Mr. Roy was assigned to an early childhood bus and he was often observed singing, reciting nursery rhymes, and playing little childhood games to keep the students entertained and safe on their ride home. He has the ability to turn bad days into good days for those he comes into contact with. The truth is that Mr. Roy is the life of the party even when there is no party. <laughs> Mr. Thomas. Deborah Shearhart. Ms. Shearhart is retiring as a teacher at Denby Early Childhood Center with 33 years and eight months of service. Ms. Shearhart's administrator shared, Ms. Shearhart is a nationally board certified teacher who retires after many years of positively impacting the lives of children. She loves owls and typically use them as a decorative theme in her classroom. Owls symbolize truth, power, and wisdom, values she worked to instill in the children whom she taught. Ms. Shearhart's high expectations, passion for learning, and unwavering commitment to supporting her students, their families, and her colleagues will be missed. Ms. Shearhart. Florence Tynes. Ms. Tynes is retiring as a child nutrition employee at Huntington with 19 years and one month of service. Ms. Tynes' administrator shared, Ms. Tynes is one of the best people you could ever meet and boy can she cook. Her years of service are a testament to her dedication to our students. She worked tirelessly to ensure they received meals to support their learning. I wish you well on your retirement, Ms. Tynes. Jane Van Dusen. Ms. Van Dusen is retiring as an instructional assistant at Kiln Creek Elementary with 26 years of service. Ms. Van Dusen's administrator shared, Ms. Van Dusen has worked in our service severe intellectual disabilities classroom at Kiln Creek Elementary School. She loves our students and is a fierce advocate for them. She never allows them to underestimate themselves. When Ms. Van Dusen worked at Woodside High, she helped run a school-based vocational enterprise, which required a lot of effort and coordination. Her rapport with the students, along with her willingness to do whatever it took to get the job done, made her an invaluable asset to our class. Ms. Van Dusen. Mary Wallace. Ms. Wallace is retiring as a teacher at Gildersleeve Middle School with 10 years of service. Ms. Wallace's administrator shared, Ms. Wallace is always willing to help a colleague 
and always has a kind word to share at just the right time. She has made an impact with her students' lives, working to ensure that they are ready for high school and beyond. Ms. Wallace. <laughs> Daria Weber. Ms. Weber is retiring as a supervisor with health services with 33 years and one month of service. Ms. Weber's administrator shared, I have had the pleasure of working with Daria in some capacity for over 20 years. She is committed to ensuring the wellness of our students. From committees we served on together, projects we worked on, to sharing the stage as the fruit and vegetable rap gang. I have never danced with a nicer orange. Orange. <laughs> Ms. Weber will be missed by all, but especially Abigail Apple. Ms. Weber. Eugene Wilson. Mr. Wilson is retiring as a cafeteria manager with Child Nutrition Services at Greenwood Elementary with five years of service. Mr. Wilson's administrator shared, it has been an honor to work with Mr. Eugene Wilson. He always went above and beyond to help our students and staff. He ensured that every child had a healthy and nutritious breakfast and lunch so they could have a wonderful day of learning. We appreciate his outstanding positive attitude. Our Greenwood staff will forever be grateful for his leadership as our cafeteria manager, Mr. Wilson. <laughs> Wanda Wilson. Ms. Wilson is retiring as a cafeteria manager with Child Nutrition Services at Kiln Creek Elementary with 26 years and nine months of service. Ms. Wilson's administrator shared, Wanda was one of the best cafeteria managers we have had. Ms. Wilson is one of the sweetest people with the biggest smile. Her hi, honey, it's trouble greeting, will always put a smile on my face. She made the best homemade rolls and desserts. She made us her best red velvet cake. Wanda, you will truly be missed. Congratulations on your retirement, Ms. Wilson. Donna Whitcop. Ms. Whitcop is retiring as an accounting technician in the accounting department with 30 years and 11 months of service. Ms. Whitcop's administrator shared, Ms. Whitcop was an excellent accounting technician. Over the course of her career, she processed tens of thousands of vendor invoices for payment. She also processed several billion dollars in electronic deposits and over $100 million in checks and cash for deposit. Everything was handled effectively and efficiently. She was an excellent communicator in resolving issues both for vendors and her school division colleagues. Donna was very well liked by everyone that knew her, Ms. Whitcop. Congratulations to all our honorees. We have We have done our best to be accurate, but we do want to ensure that we have recognized all of the retirees present. Is there anyone present whose name has not been called? Sorry. Retirees, each of you has our deepest appreciation for your commitment and service to Newport News Public Schools. On behalf of the school board and staff, we salute you, the retiree class of 2015-2016, for the years of service you have rendered on, rendered on behalf of the education in Newport News. Best wishes for the next phase of your life. Thank you and have a great night. <laughs>